Hello, everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of American Horror Story Season 2, Episode 8. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows, reality shows, and also the reactions. If you're returning, you're one of my peoples, a welcome back. So, since we don't have any comments from last week's video, we're going to jump right on in. We have a group of, I'm going to say they're teenagers. And... Uh, it starts off them on the lake. Now, if y'all been with me for any particular amount of time, y'all know that I don't do bodies of water like that because I don't know how to swim. And y'all on a boat, y'all teenagers, and y'all done had a little alcohol. And I'm assuming that was beer. Yeah, it was beer because one of the girls said, Finn said that I, somebody need to be sober out here. So, y'all got a little liquor in y'all system. Y'all over there tipsy. And y'all throw in the water. Nothing good. Okay, so... Jake, he decides there is this myth that there is a whole town up under the lake. Let's go investigate. Now, y'all, there has never been a time when investigating something like this that something miraculous and something happy and fun happened. Nothing good can come out to investigating certain things like this. Now, now say that nothing went wrong. Okay, you went down there in town to town. Then what do we do? But, you know, since this is American Horror Stories, no. It's like they went to go looking for trouble when trouble was not looking for them. Like if they had just not done that, things would have been fine. But you sought out trouble and we see what happened. Now, they not they don't have any like, okay, we got some scuba diving gear on. No, we're going to be free diving down there and you know, just seeing what we see. Now, the thing is, okay, what if you get caught on a branch or something and like that and you cannot get up to the water up above the water so you can get your breath in so um mr let's go investigate like what's going on jake he goes down there and something grabs him his sister she goes up to the you know pops up hey help he's drowning and when she go back down there he gone and then we clearly seen an arm or something like pull him down and i'm like what is down there see this is why I don't do large bodies of water, which is odd because when I was younger, my mama and my auntie and my uncles, they used to take me and my brother and my cousins to um, Callaway Garden. It's like a man-made lake. And now thinking about it, I was like, you never know what was going on over there. They had a part where you can just be out there swimming and they had an area where you can get on a canoe and a paddle boat. But like thinking about it now, it's like... I really don't like bodies, large bodies of water now. Like here in Smith's like this. Like I will get into a pool. And I will stay in like the shallow shallow area. But like going out into like. I did go into the ocean in like 2017. But now that I know like the even more dangers of the ocean. Even if you like close by the shore. Yeah. That's my husband. <laughs> he over there watching something and just getting tickled. Even though. I almost guarantee you he didn't already seen it before, so y'all don't mind him. So yeah, he didn't got pulled under by something or someone. So we flash to four months later, and Finn is just getting out of a um, mental facility because, like, she saw her brother get pulled under by something, saw a hand and everything, and dealing with that and in realization, I believe what I saw is true. But it's been hard on the whole family. Like, Daddy, he's been throwing himself into his work. Mama, she don't know what to do because Daddy not talking to her. Finn was in the mental facility. It's like, child. So, Mama, she going to go take her a nice little hot bath. That tub was cute. I was like, I need a tub like that in my life. I need to get some money, y'all. I really do. I need to... I need to do something to where I can be getting some money like that. Like, I need to have, like, Anila from... Married to medicine, become an influencer like that, so they can be like, I can get paid and I can get some free stuff like that. Cause that tub was cute, but she over there trying to get her a nice, you know, have a nice relaxing bath when this like ghoulish looking arm come out the tub. Now, me, I wouldn't have after I seen that mess and got scared. I would have just left out the room. I wouldn't have gone to go see if it was still there. Now. Logically, how would an arm come between, you know, come up from the 
the, the pipes and all that stuff even if the tub was stopped off i know that logically but still something in me would have told me we're not gonna do this because when i was little i used to be scared to go to the bathroom because i was scared a gremlin was gonna come out so i in my mind okay if i see something i'm just gonna act like nothing happened and i'm gonna go on about my business that's the way I, I do things. And like I, I get scared very easily easily. Like at the, the the big age of thirty seven years old, knowing that I lock my house up as soon as I come in, my door is never just open for no reason. Unless somebody's coming in or bringing in groceries, my door is always locked and the night latch on. But still, there is something in me from when I'm walking to my bedroom to my bathroom, which is all of maybe two and a half steps i still do a quick little run just in case somehow somebody didn't got in so i get scared that's just a long story short saying that i get scared easily so so now mama's starting to see things i did not catch her name she played by alicia silverspoon but yeah she wake up at in, in the middle of the night and she go downstairs the faucet from the sink it's on everybody in this house is big enough to know once you're done with the water cut it off she cut it off and turn around it come back on so she cut it off see after you cut it off and it turn back on that's when i've been like nope mm -mm, mm -mm. i would have went upstairs i'm going to a hotel because apparently something's not right in this house so then water outside it's doggone by the pool. And I, I just knew she was just going to fall in that pool. You couldn't tell me otherwise. But she turning off stuff out by the pool. Why is that water on? All these things is happening. And not making sense. And you just steady going on in your day. And you not telling nobody about this. Mm -mm. Yeah. So. She didn't hear the voice. Her son talking about some find me, find me. The way I would have left that house, I would have grabbed my child, my purse, and I would have been gone. Husband, we leaving. If you stand, you stand. But me and my child, we going to a hotel, cause I'm not fin to deal with this. Mm mm. Now she didn't got it in her head that they need to go out there to the lake again because the son that drowned. Who the police spent weeks trying to find is calling out to her. Yeah. And not only that, Finn, the daughter's like, I believe you, Mama. We got to go out there because I believe that something pulled Jake down there. So they was like, we going to go while your daddy at work. We going to go out there by ourselves to this lake. Even though you said that you saw a hand grab your brother, my son, down, we going to go out there on our own because we got this. And I was looking like, okay. If you say so. But then I had to hurry up and leave because I had to go to the doctor. That's why this video was so, so late. Child had to do blood work and everything. Stuck me twice. But anyway, y'all ain't here for that. So, mama done got it in her head. Okay, we going to go to the spot y'all was at because the police they didn't go to that spot which was stupid to me like why are y'all over here way over that way if he was you know was pulled down over here that just didn't make no sense but she got a rope she gonna tie around her so that's gonna save her she talking about some if i'm down there for more than two minutes then pull me up ma'am two minutes that's long that's a long time to be underwater i mean my lung capacity is not that best and I be trying to like hold my breath. But like baby that, that seemed like a long time. But anyway. She go down there. And I'm like what if you going up under branches. And all that stuff. You gonna, your, your, the rope going to get caught. So while she down there. She sees three bodies. And for whatever reason. She decides I'm going to grab a necklace from this body. And show enough that body dog on the person grabbed her. And, and she's like, oh my goodness. So the daughter trying to pull her up. Then the son, he just out of nowhere, just boo, 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 and, and like, you know, get to floating up. And this is when, you know, the sheriff comes like, I don't know how you found your son. 
Because we, we, we looked in these waters and we didn't see nothing. She was like, what about the three bodies down there? That's like, we looked and there wasn't no bodies down there. She's like, it was three bodies chained to a concrete block. Like, what's good? But, you know, what's good is she was able to bring her son's body back up her. But, like, she gives the sheriff this little um, dog tag and it said Boone on it. And he was like, that could be from one family, like, it was some doggone it, I guess, old wives, no, that's not old wives, too, that's not the word I'm looking for. It was, like, not a rumor, but what is it, I can't think of the word right now, but, like, stories tell it that it was somebody in a family named Boone who, you know, was drowned in these waters, so... After getting off the phone with the husband and letting him know, we fine, we found our son, I wasn't crazy, Finn wasn't crazy. They go to the nursing home to talk to the only living um, Boone family member and she was like, she told the story that she moved at that town because that town ain't about right. And how some money hungry dude wanted to put up a dam and people in the town fought it. And it was three particular people who fought it. And he was like, I got you now. And he tied these three men to this doggone concrete block and let the dam do what it do. And he made sure that like money was put into this trust that nobody could drain um the dam because if they did that they would find those bodies that he put down there like a hundred something years ago and this is when they was like yes it was this firm the such and such firm and mom was looking like now what now and this is when we find out the daddy's farm that he works for is in charge of making sure that the dam stays up and not only that that his great 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 granddaddy was Mr. Moneybag I missed the greedy man and he was talking about some my daddy, my family was an exceptional people. We were proud to be called this name and yada 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 and yada 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 and people, you know, they drown every day. It's nothing new. And the mom was like, see, you crazy, your family crazy. And that's why they took our son. It's to get back. So, it was like, this is what happened. This is the reason why our son was taken. is because they need to lure your till out here. And we seeing all the people from the, you know, that didn't drown over the years. I don't know why I'm shimmy like this. But, you know, coming out the water almost like Thriller. And they come and get the daddy. And I was like, is it because, which I don't know how they would know this. Is because the daddy is still working to keep the dam there. Because why didn't they go for the daughter? Or was it because the daughter was like, Daddy, yo family crazy, y'all ain't about to write. Or was like, you know, you ain't part of that family, you you ain't that ain't really your daddy type of situation. I didn't know. But she was like, Yes, that's why they did that. That's why they not gonna took Jake, cause they need to get your tail out here so they can just drag you on. And like the daddy fought for a minute, but then it was like he was what is it called? Um, crowd surfing where he was just like slowly being taken to the water and wasn't fighting no more. I don't know if he was, you know, still alive or not, but they took him on. And the mama was like sad, but she wouldn't have said as you would think she would be as seeing as her husband getting carried off to his unalive. Yeah. It was an interesting episode. And I was like, is this kind of like Lake Lanier? Because y'all know they seen a whole bunch of like crazy mess. Like not everything about Lake Lanier was this. But like a lot of crazy stuff goes on at Lake Lanier. Yeah. That made me scared to go. I think we went there for like Christmas one year and was looking at the lights. And my mind was just elsewhere. So y'all, that was the chest. If I left anything out by me, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure you know the case are on some my Facebook video. You can click on it. You can like it and share with your people. And you can help me be one of my people. If you're already one of my people, so welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my people by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.